Yo, what's up, YouTube? In this video, we'll talk about current patch, the main changes. Uh, we're gonna talk about DLSS. I'll show you Rhino, Rhino revolvers. Uh, apparently, there are some sound changes to your pouch, endurance changes, uh, uh, and more and more and more and more. So, enjoy. All right, so currently, I'm playing on uh, Full HD. Uh, my monitor supports only Full HD, and uh, DLSS is available for Full HD. I'll probably test those uh, settings on labs in a specific area where you get a high gpu usage so let's start let's start with that oh it seems like they also changed the the commands interesting all right anyway fps1 and off we go to the area with high gpu usage all right so this is the area with a pretty high gpu usage um, currently I'm getting 135, 136 frames. Let's try to turn on the DLSS and see if it makes any difference. All right, I'm getting 220 frames, but I can clearly see, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but the image is definitely way, way blurred. And this is on quality. I guess may maybe it's not gonna look too too bad at 2K, because if I'm using it at 1080p, it's probably it probably upscales from 720p, um, so it might look a bit better at 2K. But uh, I did get uh, 80, 90 frames uh, gain, and that's actually I would say um, pretty nice. Yeah. Let's try a balance now. It looks a little bit worse, and now I'm getting 260 frames. And now we're gonna go to performance. Oh, I don't think I can do this. Yeah, I think... Yeah, it doesn't let me do performance or ultra performance, because probably those two options are available only for 2K and 4K. And since I'm upscaling up to Full HD, which is uh, 1080p, I don't think I'm able to do these ones, because it's gonna be upscaling from 360p. And um, yeah, I don't think BSG just allows that. So if you have a, if you played high resolution, 2K or 4K, try the settings, see how the game works. But um, I, I think most people will either use quality or balanced. I think people are gonna use these two because even on balanced, you can clearly, you can clearly see the blur. The game becomes very pixelated, and um, even though you gain a lot of frames, I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's totally worth it to lose this much quality, but it's up to you. And a quick reminder, for DLSS, in order to use DLSS, um, you need to have a RTX card, so at least a 2060, 2070, 2080, or 3060, 3070, etc. It doesn't work on old GTX cards, so if you have a um, GTX 1050 Ti or 1660 Ti, which is also a new GPU, 1660 Ti, even though it came out uh, after RTX cards, it still does not support DLSS. So that's a very important aspect. Um, and yeah, let's get into the showcase of the revolver now. So this was the 357 caliber revolver. It feels pretty nice. I wouldn't say that the recoil is too big or anything. Uh, it doesn't shoot super fast. I can clearly feel that there is a small delay between the shots. And uh, yeah, it feels pretty nice. I like it. Now let's test this little cutie. Just look at that. It feels pretty nice, but I feel like recoil is a bit... I mean, 
duh, recoil is bigger. Um, because it's a shorter version of revolver. So far, I'm liking this way, this one way more, simply because of recoil. Um, we'll need to see the difference between the bullet stats uh, to understand if uh, 9mm or uh, 357 is better. And that's exactly what I'll be doing today during my stream. So if you still haven't checked me out on Twitch, please do. And uh, let's get to our next point. BG said that there is a sound change to the pouch interactions, but I couldn't see any difference. So maybe right now, um, other 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 people, your enemies, whenever you do something in your pouch, they will be able to hear the sound. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, that needs more testing. The other thing which is worth mentioning is endurance nerfed. It was nerfed by 50% as well as uh, breath recovery was nerfed by 5%, um, I believe. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it feels too bad, but I can, I can clearly feel the difference. I can clearly see that the bar is depleting uh, faster. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't feel too bad so far. I think we'll notice the difference, but it doesn't feel too bad. Alright, another small addition is that you can sort your active tasks by location now. Uh, I think that comes very handy, because when I'm starting the game and I have plenty of quests, it's kind of difficult to combine them by maps, because they are in random places. And right now there is a little fancy button which you can click and sort your quests by locations. Really great, love it. So another thing, another thing which they added this patch, you are able to replace your tasks at different costs that applies to daily quests. So for example, therapist is asking me to survive on factory 12 times. I can either accept it or replace it. I think I might accept this one to see if I can replace it after accepting. Yes, you can still replace it after accepting. Um, and for me, it's gonna... Um, <laughs> Alright, I guess this is gonna be the cost of replacing. I think my rep with therapist is gonna reduce. It's a bit glitched, so it doesn't tell us by how much. But if I remember correctly, it reduces your rep. So right now my rep with therapist is... Um, is it only 1.13? Yeah, I guess this is, this is my rep. Let's replace it. And nothing happened. Alright, maybe if it reduces your wrap by 0 0.001 or something, you will not see any difference. Uh, but when BG fixes it and you replace your tasks, please do pay attention. Because um, as I said earlier, it, it should take your wrap away. Alright, so the next thing is AI should have inertia now. I will probably be able to test it with an 8. Um, this is an online raid, I'm not an offline because you can't scav into offline. So let's find a scav. Alright, let me check a Ned and see if he will start running. Find him me. Yep, yep, yep. As you can see, he started running uh, as all the PMCs run. He didn't instantly uh, gain the maximum speed, he started running slowly, and then he sped up, so yeah. Excellent proofs. Seems like scavs do have inertia. I would love to see how it affects bosses, especially Kila, when he does the Kila slide. Because uh, as well as scavs got inertia, they also shouldn't be able to um, shoot you while changing stances. So if, if, if the scav is crouching, or he is running and then he's trying to drop shot you, he will not be able to shoot you during those uh, animations. So I'm pretty excited to see that. And I think more or less this sums up the things which I wanted to share with you. There are plenty of other small um, small changes. You can read the patch notes. I will leave the uh, link to patch notes in the description. So if you free to read them. But those are the main things I wanted to talk about. And thank you so much for watching the video. Check out my socials and I'll see you in the next one.